Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. Please subscribe if you like the uh, interesting trading setups. Uh, we have already done some very very amazing uh, analysis for the continuing week and I'm going to add on to that analysis. We are going to discuss three or four trading setups that are actually developing. Uh, we are going to look at gold and silver, we will look at euro and British pound and we will look at Bitcoin. Um, and the reason I'm going to talk about Bitcoin is that a lot of uh, I made a call about Bitcoin. A lot of people are interested in that, so we're going to discuss that. Uh, so if you guys remember my analysis from my um, from the last week video, we I already told you guys that you're expecting Euro to continue on into uh, making move something like this, and I told you guys that you're going to wait for pullback. So pu right now pullback has happened already, and not only pullback has happened, but we can actually see a structure forming right over here, which is a flat correction. And on its own, we have a smaller wave one, and then we have a zigzag pattern as a W, and other as a zigzag pattern as X, and a flat correction as Y. As you guys can see, that the flat correction has actually completed a new high, and created a new high as as compared to this high, giving an indication that the upward pressure that we are expecting is right. So right now, I think that we are ready to go. Uh, so first of all, let me go on a daily hourly time frame. You guys once again can refer back to this analysis that I mentioned on my previous week, on my last week's, um, like a couple of days ago, I posted the analysis for the weekend, uh, for the week that we are going on right now. So you guys can refer back to that video always. So we are expecting for Euro to create a double bottom with this one at least, and it can actually create a double bottom with this one right over here. So we are bullish for the remainder of three weeks in the, uh, three days in the week. I'm expecting that. Uh, there shall be a top uh, in Euro uh, either on Thursday or on Friday. So we have three, four days left, and we have seen a pullback. We are, uh, once again, if you guys look at it, we have seen an impulsive move. We have seen a corrective move right over here too. After the corrective move is over, we have smaller wave one and then wave two. So we're gonna go up and three and four and five. That's what I'm expecting right now. Now let's quickly label it so if you guys can actually uh, are confusing it then we can uh, that labeling will actually make it clear all right so this is how we are expecting it we can actually go right over here and then we can call it an ABC pattern so this is an A and that's a B okay uh, give me a moment this is a B and then we're expecting a C to be formed right at the top uh, let me see if I can actually drag that in to see the top all right yeah I think that's the top so once again we need to move this right over here because this is a starting point I'm still getting used to this on trading view uh, within B we have completed a smaller wave one and a two and we're expecting a stronger move now and that stronger move is expected to be an extended wave so third wave is expected to be an extended wave a correction and wave four or five so let's do that mm, where it is we have smaller wave one right over here that's the start of the pattern a smaller wave two We're expecting a stronger wave three a pull back four and a five right over here too so we can bring that right over here now actually we can actually go long on this and please do understand to use money management strong money management is needed this is an application of Elliott wave analysis is not a recommendation so anything goes uh, south is on <laughs> you honestly please do understand that I'm not a financial analyst um, I've done some studies and based on that I try to apply Elliott wave analysis as a tool for study and as, a, as an entertainment as well so please do your own research let's have a quick look at British pound and see what's British pound doing and within British pound, we have already told you guys that we were expecting for the British pound to go up right over here now. Now British pound has formed a very unique pattern. It's a, it's a flat pattern, definitely. We can clearly see that we have a wave A right over here. Wave B ended right over here too. It's a double three structure right over here too. It's the same structure that we are seeing in wave two occurred in wave B in, uh, in British pound. So right now we are going through wave one, which is a clear five wave structure. We have an expanded flat. And this flat is uh, is very rare. Uh, they say it in books that it's very rare, but I can assure you that it's not very rare. 
uh, in which we can clearly see that wave C is way short of the endpoint of wave A, giving an indication that wave C itself was very weak. Uh, there are very less people interested in pushing the price down. So we can clearly see A, a B, and C structure right over here. So right now, wave 1 is complete over here. Wave 2 is complete right over here. Some of you guys are not going to like it. I understand and I respect that. Um, difference of opinion, I don't mind. So we can go back to the top. We are expecting a strong move in wave 3. And this is what you're expecting. Let's let's see what happened right over here. So a top is to be created somewhere around over here. We can definitely, definitely go back and create a top in regard to... Let me have a look. We can definitely go back and create a top in regard to that double top. Alright, so I think that's a m better option. We can actually push wave 5 right over here. We can expect for it to be created. And once again, uh, I'm expecting that this top shall be obtained by Thursday or Friday. So it's a pretty interesting uh, setup that we have. Once again, please do understand this, uh, that financial, uh, sorry, uh, money management is a very, very strong part of it. You want to do your own research uh, if you want to be really putting serious money on it. Let's have a look. We've already done British Pound and Euro, so let's have a look at um, gold. Let's see if I can find gold pair. Where it is? I think I put it in here. Okay, here it is. Now, gold, I told you guys that we were expecting for gold to n create a bearish price move. This is the daily price action, right? We have here. Let me do auto, and then it will make sense, right? Okay. I'm trying to complete the, the the labeling, but don't worry about it. It's going to take some time. So uh, this swing that I'm telling you guys that I'm expecting another swing right over here. We can easily see further divisions, and I'm expecting that we're going to see some price movement downward. Not only that has already happened, we can see we have a bearish day. We can actually now draw a trend line, and we have this trend line, and we can actually see a pretty good reflection of that trend line. All right? It's not exactly accurate but we have seen a reflection uh, of a strong reflection of that area coming out of that area so there is a good possibility that we have created a top right over here we are going to continue there is expected to be a, a strong bearish move in next two to three days right over here we can actually can create a 16 uh, sorry 17 20 17 10 ish uh, that can go and then you can see a pullback or we can actually go a little further down in this region which is around 1640-ish and a pullback. So 1650-ish a pullback or 1710-ish uh, and a pullback. So next two three days are going to be very interesting. Let me break that to hourly time frame so we can actually see what's happening. Let's see auto and um, see we have another trend line that we can actually use right over here. So this is pretty interesting. We have broken that uh, from that trend line and I think that this top is going to stay there is a good possibility that is this top is going to stay we definitely have seen support coming in in this region let's have a look at a 15 minute chart and see if you can actually find some more indications so to me this looks pretty strongly impulsive and this price move although has already happened is kind of correct it to me I'm expecting that we are going to creating a bearish price move continuation from this top right over here too so I'm expecting for the price to drop and I'm expecting that we are gonna see 1550 ish in about I would say a month so starting from today we already passed one day I'm expecting that within for one month of trading we are gonna see 1550 ish and initially we are expected to see uh, either a target remaining somewhere around 17 uh, right over here 17 10 ish area and a pullback either that's going to happen or we can actually dive down further and we can actually create a, a temporary bottom at 1650 ish and a pullback and both things can happen we'll keep a close eye on the price action so right now as you as you guys are aware of it I'm bearish on on gold and silver let me bring that in right over here if I can drag right over here so we had something 
that has happened right over here so you're expecting this and we have seen this then I think that we have gone off on Monday and Tuesday this happened so it's pretty interesting uh, a similar phenomena is expected in silver uh, with silver I have stunning news for you guys uh, I did some historical studies and I'm expecting a bottom in silver to be around 1250 or 13 dollars you heard me right I'm expecting a bottom in silver within a one month time period a uh, bottom is expected around the same time as the bottom is in gold is expected gold is expected to create a bottom around 1550 ish and silver is expected to create a bottom around 1250 or 13 dollar ish all right so i don't have silver right here in front of me uh, once again i'm bearish on silver as well so if you guys have a chart of silver we can definitely look at it. let's have a quick look at it actually x a G U S D. All right, let me add that to my mm, watch list, and it's in the which yeah, right over here. There is silver added right now, so we can see we have definitely seen a bearish price action. The corrective pattern that I was talking was expecting in gold, not a, probably it's not so clear with you guys, but it's pretty clear in silver corrective pattern I was expecting a corrective pattern I didn't mention it it looks a little ugly so I didn't mention it to you guys but it looks pretty simple right over here so what do you guys say an A a B and a C right three wave structure three wave structure a five wave structure and we have actually uh, come broken below that uh, the trend line on the 15 minute chart so I'm considering that right now and expanded uh, a flat correction with a deeper C so we have A, a wave B, and a C wave structure right over here. So you can definitely call it wave 1 and 2 and then 3 and 4 and then 5 right over here. Some sort of ended right over here or over here. In both cases, we have, I think, created a bottom, uh, created a top right over here too. Let me see if I want to see the trend line have any trend line from the top uh, I did some analysis already so I'm I'm pretty sure that that analysis carries some value okay so if you look at the chart right from the top this is the one I need to bring uh, let's do a four hourly chart and the chart itself is actually telling you guys that chart itself is definitely bearish we have a uh, high created right over here too we have a lower low uh, and then we have lower high, uh, we have a lower low, and then we have a lower high, and then we have a lower low, and we have a lower high. So you guys can actually see, and right, not only that, prices have already started to become a little weaker. We are kind of kind of finding the uh, support for this price movement. The very first fund jump is giving us a support. So itself, it's a it's a negative thing for silver. I'm expecting a bearish price action continuation in silver, and I'm expecting that silver is to complete a bottom around around over here okay uh, I think we will go probably a little around over here 1350 so around from 1250 to 1350 is our target for silver let's horizontal line and we can actually go right over here 1350 and then we can actually go right over here to 1250 so that seems this area is our target for silver it's going to be very interesting and see how silver actually jumps off that area so you look at that we have already top we have made a swing right over here we have seen a correction within the new swing that we have seen is pretty impressively bearish so another downward price expect uh, that's what I'm expecting right now in silver let's have a look at at Bitcoin a lot of you guys are uh, interested in Bitcoin I told you guys that you expect we are to expect a top around uh, in between August 1 and August 4 we already doing August 2nd so what we can do right now is that we can definitely keep an eye on August 4 I'm more pushed towards August 4 uh, I'm expecting a strong price movement let's see that we do not reach 33,000 on August 4 I'll turn bearish all right simple as that and I'm expecting that we are going to actually hit the target I'm still expecting that uh, there are a couple of things that are actually indicating that we are going to see something like that it's a lot of historic historic uh, pattern analysis and 
okay and one thing is really helping me out here is that we can actually the most recently we have seen is where is that Fibonacci let me see if you can have the percentage tool this is the, yeah this is the vibration tool this is the so what is really helping me out right over here is that we found support right at 50 percent alright so this is very very positive for a strong move upward this itself on its own is very important It's actually agreeing with it uh, with our analysis <coughs> So I'm still expecting we are we are to uh, see stronger price movement upward in in uh, in Bitcoin and Ethereum and in the rest of the the cryptocurrency that are actually strong. So um, I guess that's it. Uh, I have some very good news actually about the stock market. I did mention it, uh, but not many people probably paid attention. I was expecting the stock market crash actually in U.S. and U.K. Uh, and I was myself scared that things are getting really uh, in the opposite direction uh, in, and for pe general public like you and me uh, things are going to get bad but uh, thanks God we have some more time we, uh, we're gonna go down uh, at the end of this week I think that we'll start the uh, uh, with the UK indices I think the process has already uh, we have probably already have created the top with the UK index which is FTSE 100 and with the DAX as well We'll do a quick look at it right now, but with I think U.S. indices, most of the world actually follows U.S. indices, and I think that once we go down, we are gonna and uh, go down for about I think uh, I I give you guys that we are gonna go down, create a bottom somewhere around the middle of September, after which a good push up is expected. So we're expecting a good time period after this, probably about maybe six months. Uh, probably and six months believe me in these times is a lot of time period uh, so if any of you guys are worried you can it's gonna give us some time to prepare all right because there is a possibility that we are heading towards a major major depression god forsaken it happens god forsaken it happens then we see a reflection of um, we see uh, a, an uh, I would not say reflection a shadow of 1929 things are going to get really worst really worst so uh, I'm not scaring you off things are looking in that direction we have some data that is actually pointing that we are expected to go in a depression I hope that we only see uh, a bottom uh, a, a bear run for two years one I told you guys that there are two on the two major bottoms that I'm seeing one bottom is expected in about two years the other bottom is expected in about eight to ten years the only uh, problem is that uh, we, we cannot tell uh, whether the second bottom is going to be lower uh, than the first bottom all right we cannot tell with the uh, with the study that I did so uh, hopefully we'll be able to look at things uh, in in more, more detail let's have a look at FTSE and see how FTSE is doing FTSE I think is uh, has gone down a bit and I told you guys right now what we can do is The way FTSE is, we need to change this labeling a little bit. Actually, I will leave FTSE right over here too. Uh, you can, this horizontal support is really a good one. I've pushed it a little from over here to a little over here. And I think that we might have actually created uh, some top right over here. Actually, give me a moment. Because the smaller time frame uh, analysis, I'm pretty sure you guys can read that too. So, what you guys can see right from over here? Hmm? I'm seeing a wave one and a two, and then wave three right over here, and then wave four right over here. So this t this bottom is above than this entry point, and then we have kind of seeing an ending diagonal right over here. All right, and that gives me a five wave structure, a three wave structure. A five wave structure in which wave one and two is here, three is here, four and over here, and wave fifth is clearly much over here. So it looks to me in that regard, uh, we can definitely wait for the break of the trend line. That's why I broke the, I brought the horizontal support to the wave B. So we can easily consider it as wave A and this as wave B. Uh, okay, sorry, this as wave B, and then we can actually say that this is wave C. 
so this is what things are looking right now let me delete that where is my trend line trend line okay there is trend line so and I think DAX is going along with uh, FTSE. We can quickly look at DAX as well. And we can we already have seen drop a bit and then we are seeing a pullback probably and we can actually do a pretty strong movement downward uh, because uh, one of the subscribers actually informed me that FTSE is quite heavy on oil companies, Shell and I think British Petroleum which is BP. Uh, so oil is already down we can already see that oil is going down and we have already a forecast about oil that we are expecting for oil to further uh, be strongly bearish so in that case there is quite possibility that we have already created the top right over here and I told you guys about FTSE that we are too strongly uh, we are actually favoring strongly on the bearish side let's have a look at DAX okay with the DAX I've told you guys okay DAX is much clear so first of all we need to understand this pattern I have already t told you guys that this pattern is pretty uh, amazing we can see that we have created support on top of the previous resistance right over here so we have a bottom we went on created a top we created a double bottom we went on crossed that resistance and came back and retested that area and then we went up back again so if a break of that happens, it itself is a very, very strong indication that we ought to turn bearish. Right now, this trend line is holding the price movement that actually went from the top. So I'm expecting that there is a possibility that we actually have seen the top right over here. We are seeing an impulsive and a corrective. And then we are going to come down from this trend line and bust. I'm going to be bearish clearly once we actually see the break of 13,000, this trend line. So oh, you guys are well aware of it. I have already shared my analysis. If you guys want to see the detailed analysis of DAX, definitely go ahead and uh, check that out on my YouTube. Uh, it was posted two, three days ago. I think I posted on either Friday, the last Friday or Saturday. So that's it for uh, today. Let's have a quick look at gold. So that's have it for today. I hope that you guys like the content. Uh, if you guys don't want to miss an opportunity, a trading opportunity, uh, do subscribe. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.